Welcome viewers and a thanks for tuning in. Today's video is the follow up from my previous video where I posed the question, is there such a thing as the perfect TV box? The truthful answer to that is no, because there's always some essential feature missing in one area or hardware requirement lacking in the other. And there's the whole issue surrounding whether one prefers Android TV OS versus the full mobile version of Android or having access to Netflix and Amazon Prime Video in HD and 4K quality versus being limited to a basic 480p with root access and access to the full version of the Google Play Store. So, there are many issues that prevents any TV box from claiming to be the best or perfect TV box for all users. But there are times when a developer releases a model and comes very close to achieving that goal. One such developer is Zidu. They are one of the developers that you don't see very often and they have their own community and forum where they provide support and updates to their users. Currently in pre-order for the release in September is the release of their latest model called the Zidu Z9X. Now the Zidu Z9X is in no way the ultimate TV box both in terms of hardware performance or features and I'll in no way try to compare it to the Nvidia Shield. But in this video, You'll see that if you take all of the features faced by the TV box community, you'll find that the Zidu Z9X is the first TV box to come close to solving at least 90% of these issues. So again, I emphasize that this is not the best TV box on the face of the earth, but take into consideration all of the issues we have surrounding TV boxes and let's see what the Zidu Z9X has to offer. Stay tuned, that's up next. So here are the specs. The CPU is the Realtek RTD 1619 Hexacore CPU. The GPU is the Mali G51 MP3 graphics processor. It comes with 2GB of DDR4 RAM and 16GB of eMMC internal storage. It has an external SATA 3.0 expansion port. It has 802.11 AC 2.4 plus 5GHz Wi-Fi with T2 TR MIMO technology. It has a Gigabit Ethernet LAN port, Bluetooth 4.0 support, and HDMI 2.0A display. I tried to get my hands on a 4GB, 32GB, or even the 64GB model, but it's early yet and not available at this time. In the box, you have the Zidu Z9X TV box itself. You get one IR remote with programmable learning keys, custom shortcut keys, and a backlit display. You get one HDMI cable, one external SATA cable, a 12 volt 2 amps DC power adapter, and your user's manual. And now for its design and ports. The entire body is made of metal with just some of the features printed to the top. To the rear of the box, you have two HDMI ports, an HDMI input and an output, one gigabit LAN port. 1 optical audio port, 1 audio video port, an RS-232 port, your DC power input, a power switch, and a pair of T2TR MIMO external antennas. To the left side, you have two USB 2.0 ports, a pinhole reset button, and some cooling vents. To the opposite side, you have an external SATA connector and two USB 3.0 ports. To the front, you have the Zidu branding and an LED clock display. And below the box, you have a four anti-squared rubber feet and some cooling vents. So I'll now set this up on my 4K TV and a capture card and continue. So this is the startup of the Zidu Z9X. It's very simple and nothing flashy about it. With the Zidu logo animation for a few seconds, then you're taken directly to the launcher. So this is Zidu's official custom launcher and it's called ZIUI. And ZIUI has been in development for many years now and has come a long way. This version of ZIUI has these large main icons, some of which can be changed. And those that cannot be changed consist of a date and a time widget, a weather widget, a one-click cleanup button, a 
an app lock feature that locks access to the launcher or can be used to provide parental controls. And below here, you have a shortcuts bar that allows you to add shortcuts and you can also rearrange them as you so choose. This launcher does not have a navigation bar or a status bar, but using the programmable shortcut keys on the remote, you can enable multitasking as one of the shortcuts. I will also install the menu button alternative navigation bar as a replacement to see if it works. Zidu provides two versions of this firmware. The first version provides all of the features minus the Google Play Store and Google Play services and the other version has all the Google Play services as you would with any regular TV box. You can however go to their website and download the version you prefer and update it easily via USB without losing any of your saved data or apps installed. So this is ZIUI's settings area and in this section you have features such as advanced video playback settings all of which you don't see in other TV boxes. Four K display up to twenty one sixty p at sixty hertz, Dolby Vision and HDR settings, HDCP settings. Another option you don't usually see. You have an advanced HDR dynamic metadata feature called Max CLL and Max Fall. You have screen saver controls, custom wallpaper settings. You have advanced audio settings which includes a feature that downmixes HD audio to produce Dolby True HD. You also have audio sample rate settings and the option to enable USB audio. You have network and sample server settings. And settings such as power options, HDMI CEC and firmware update options. This firmware does not come with a root switch. However, Zidu provides that in the form of an app called One Key Root that they provide for each one of their models. So the only features missing from this firmware are the navigation bar and status bar and hardware monitor settings. If I head over to the apps section, these are the apps that come pre-installed. Unique to this section is an HDMI recorder app that works with the HDMI input port to the rear of the box and a home theater app which is a cool app for playing your videos which has a really nice interface and cool features. So I'll install my usual set of apps needed to complete my review and continue. So I'm back and I've installed all of the apps needed to complete my review and here you can see that the box is running on the full version of the Google Play Store. So first let's look at its system and hardware information. On the system information, here it shows the model and the main board. It comes with 2GB of DDR4 RAM and that's according to the product description. And it comes with 16GB of internal storage. And the Bluetooth version is 4.2. The CPU is the Realtek RTD 1619 which is a 64-bit Cortex-A55 hexa-core CPU clocked at 1.3GHz configured in 32-bit mode and it has support for only 32-bit ABIs. Its display is powered by the Mali G51 Tricore graphics processor with a refresh rate of 60Hz and OpenGL ES version 3.2. On the network, it shows that you have dual band 2.4 plus 5GHz Wi-Fi support. The operating system is Android 9 Pi. There is an area of concern which is its temperature sensor which only allows temperature apps to get a snapshot of its temperature reading during operation, as you will see later in the video. The box comes with all the decoders needed for the playback of 4K HDR videos with digital audio formats, and in this list, you can see that you have Dolby and DTS audio decoders. And that's it for system and hardware information, and let's now take a look at some benchmarks. First, I have the results of its RAM copy speed its internal storage and the external SATA port read and write speeds. The Zidu Z9X has a RAM copy speed of 2045 megabytes per second 
Its internal storage has a read speed of 123 megabytes per second and the write speed failed to give a reading. The SATA expansion port has a read speed of 163 megabytes per second and a write speed of 158. The results of the internal storage and SATA port are great, but the RAM copy speed resembles that of a low-end budget TV box. The next is the results of the Wi-Fi bands and the Ethernet LAN speed test. The Zidu Z9X comes with a pair of dual-band T2TR MIMO Wi-Fi antennas and a gigabit Ethernet LAN port, and the results show that in this box you have a maximum bandwidth on both Wi-Fi bands and on the LAN port. So the dual-band antenna is doing its job very well in this box. Next I have the results of the Antutu benchmark. In this test, the Zidu Z9X got a score of 73,128. This score is a little above average and we'll see in a moment where it places on the chart. Next, I show the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. In this test, the Realtek RTD 1619 hexa-core CPU got a score of 632 single-core and 2178 multi-core. These are some OK scores and we'll see how it adds up on the chart. The final benchmark are the results of the 3 d Mark Gamers Bench GPU benchmark. In this test, the box got a score of 6705 in the Ice Storm Extreme test and 418 in the Slingshot test. These scores are some decent scores and it should see to it that this box does well in some 3D gaming. And that's it for the benchmarks. Let's now see where it places on the chart. So the scores are in, and the Zidu Z9X is at position number 21 in reference to Antutu benchmark scores, which is not too bad given that its CPU is clocked at 1.3 GHz. So I'd love to see if Zidu continues to use this CPU, if they increase its CPU clock speed, what kind of scores we will get. You can view this chart on my website where you can interact with it and compare various scores. See the link in the description below this video. So this brings to an end the first half of my video and I know you haven't seen anything to get excited about, but that is all about to change in the second half where I focus on its features. So to start this segment, I installed the menu button alternative navigation bar and performed a test to see if alternative launchers work on this box. So I installed the ADW Launcher 2 and I also installed a custom live wallpaper. I made numerous attempts to install a live wallpaper on the stock CI UI launcher, but you can only change the wallpaper from the ones they have included or by manually downloading one or uploading an image with a flash drive. For those who would like to use this box to rotate their screen to portrait mode to use with vertical displays or have a projector that lacks screen rotation, I installed a screen rotation app and it works to rotate the screen 360 degrees. Let's take a look at its root access information. The root checker app shows that the box is not rooted running on Android 9 operating system. As mentioned earlier, Zidu affords the option to root your box by the way of a separate app called OneKey Root that they provide for all their boxes. And now a look at its DRM information. It shows that the Zidu Z9X has Google Widevine Level 1 with HDCP 2.2 protection. This means that premium paid streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime Video will show in HD and 4K quality, something users have been asking for in every TV box. But keep in mind, this is not Android TV OS, this is the full mobile version of Android. So this level of DRM support combined with the full mobile version of Android is a combination not seen in any other TV box to date. And now, this is what we have been waiting for. Some said that it can't be done. Others say it's all clickbait. One person said Netflix won't allow it. And the enthusiasts say what took them so long. So this is Netflix, 
running on the full mobile version of Android with DRM support to play movies in HD and 4K quality. And what do I say to this? Well, where there's a will, there's always a way. Don't ask me how they did it. Go to the Zillow forum and post your questions there. And everyone uses YouTube, so the Zillow Z9X comes pre-installed with the Android TV version of YouTube and it works without the annoying Google Assistant to deal with. I simply signed in using my Google account and it plays videos in as high as 4K 2160p quality. When it comes to casting and screen mirroring, Zillow usually provides their own screencasting app, but unfortunately, they didn't include one in this model or have not provided an update with one yet. So I installed the AirScreen app and attempted to cast my mobile phone, but it failed to connect. So as for now, this box does not support screencasting. Zidoo provides a remote control app for using your mobile phone as a remote to control or navigate the box. Here I've already scanned the scan code with my mobile phone and installed the Zidu control app and I'm using it to navigate the box. So as I begin to wind up this review, it leaves only three areas to test and that is 4K video playback digital audio and 3D gaming. So first I'll play my list of 4K video samples to see how the box handles it and see if the HDR icon triggers on my TV. One thing I noticed is that Zidoo has taken control of the playback of 4K videos and digital audio using their own internal media player and apps like the VLC player cannot access digital audio. Uh, the reason for this I'll show you in a moment. Only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of...
so most of the 4K samples played really well with the exception of the jellyfish video. Also, during the playback, the videos triggered the HDR icon on my TV. I now test for 7.1 digital surround sound formats such as Dolby Atmos, DTS X HD Master Audio, THX, and the highly requested Dolby True HD. But before I perform this test, please note that in the audio settings, you have to switch the HDMI audio option from auto to raw, otherwise you will not get all the digital audio formats. To date, there has been only one TV box that has been able to play Dolby True HD directly from a file browser and that is the Nvidia Shield. Even so, the Nvidia Shield has to use the VLC Player or MX Player Pro with audio pass-through enabled to achieve this. Zidu in this model has made all of the digital audio formats accessible directly from any browser using the stock media player. So there is no need to install the VLC Player or MX Player Pro to achieve this. So let's now go to the demonstration. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy.
is the right channel. This is the right surround channel. So there you have it. This test confirms that this box has Dolby Atmos, DTS X HD Master Audio, THX, and Dolby True HD. This is a Sony STR DH790 7.1 receiver, and the firmware displays Dolby True HD as Dolby Surround 